Hello, everybody. If you're just joining us today, this is going to be a live dev session. Um, these are some of the itinerary items I have on my plate. Now, there's probably a lot more things that I can take care of, but in this dev session, it will probably be 30 minutes to an hour, so um, not that much can get done in actually a minute and an hour. Let me just test to see if this Twitch stream is working. A lot more and uh, up. Oh, looks like I can hear myself. So let's see what my to-do list is. Yep. So I have to also recalculate all the SP tables. All right. So this is my to-do list currently. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not sure how much I can get through to today, but I see if I can try to get some to today. Um, there are some pretty easy ones I can probably hammer out right away. Um, let's start with a warm-up. So the first thing we will do is fix some misspelling. So I think enhanced shackles is currently misspelled when you try to do at uh, item info. So let's see if I can do at item info 41 feet. So right now it's called enchanted uh, shackles. So that's that's something. But I think if I actually make the item, yep, it's also misspelled there. Okay, so that's something I can edit real quick. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fix fix uh, typo. And this will be in enhanced shackles. Okay? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I think, let's see who drops it. I think it should be Cthulhu. So, yep, Cthulhu's dropped at 12.5%. Okay, so let me add that there. Okay, so uh, Cthulhu. And also this patch, I want to really stormy night. Because I know you guys have been wanting uh, wind armor. Okay, slotted wind armor. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do Yeah, I'll post this on YouTube afterwards. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the misspelling of enhanced shackles. All right. So this is called the item info and this is where um, the items are displayed on the front end. So there's two places where it's being currently misspelled. One is on the front end, okay, so enhanced shackles. And, huh, that's not good. Okay, I should probably tell Seer about this, but actually I'll just I'll just keep this a secret. So the resource name is actually called enchanced shackles. So the sprite itself is called enchant enchanced shackles. So I'll leave it at that and... Uh, I'll let Seer know if she wants to fix it. Let me message Seer real quick. Hey Seer, did you know that you named the resource in chanced shackles instead of enhanced shackles? I'll just change the names for now. Okay, so I'll let Seer know. All right, so enhanced shackles is what I'll name it now. So this will be the first one. Okay. So now that I've made that change, I'm going to commit this into the cloud so that everyone can uh, basically enjoy it. So get commit, get add, and say uh, fixed typo of enhanced shackles. Okay. And I'm going to push this save into the cloud. And uh, as I do that, let me just enter in my password real quick. And uh, there we have it. It is now, that change is now pushed into the cloud. So that's the front end. Um, as you notice, the back end is still messy because it's also misspelled there. So if you type in at ii, it's still going to show up as enchanced shackles. So 
Um, something I'll do is if I open the other file, just a second while I go find it, open recent, mm, I think it's in this one. If I want to go down there, I can do enhanced shackles here as well. So I'll remove the enhanced shackles there. I will save it here as well, and I will also save, so this is a different repository. I can then also save this repository. So I can actually copy the message I had here. So git add git commit fixed enhanced shackles. Paste. And I also do a git push while I'm here. Okay. And as it's what's my password, and there we go. Alright. That's in the cloud. Alright. That's done. So we can go in and we can check this bad boy off. Okay, and the next thing is, I think there's another typo here. Uh, there's a misspelling on the angel ring card. Um, now I think uh, that might be a different file altogether. Uh, angel ring card. Interesting, why is that misspelled? Now, because this is reading from an official item, I'm wondering if they actually changed the name of it. So the only way I can find out is if I check on right in my server. Okay, apparently right in my server it is called Angel Ling Card. So I'm not sure where this got renamed, but I guess I can change it back while I'm here. Okay, so there's that. And then that's the front end. I also go back and uh, edit the back end. So it was Angel Ring card, but it needs to be Angel Ling card. Okay. So that's that. I'm put an underscore here. So there's no spaces. All right. So now I can do this on both sides. So get add, get commit, uh, renamed Angel Ring card to Angel Ling card. And I can do a get push here as well. Okay. So here we can do the full part here. And we can do, I think I can just copy this entire line right here. Now, Git was hacked recently. They, they got pushed um, they got attacked by a 1.2 terabyte attack recently, and that messed up everyone's login. So this is why I have to log in every time, and it's kind of annoying, because normally uh, I have what's called SSH keys, and SSH keys are a way of uh, memorizing a computer such that you don't ever have to type in your password again, um, because the computer automatically gives the keys forward. Okay. Next thing, all right, that's done. All right, Angeline card is done. All right, so disable the boarding halter in Whoa. Now, I'm pretty sure I remember doing this. Um, so let's just go back and check to see what happened to might have caused this to be mis, uh, misre-enabled here. So let me see if I can find a file real quick. Um, if I go into Essence RO, I think it's an item, no use. There we go. OK, so it can't be in use while sitting. Nope, this is not the right file. I think what I want. <laughs> mob, 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 mob. I think it might be in the pre re one. Item no equip. There we go. So what we want is something that is disabled in whoa. Okay, so we don't want people 
to be able to use the boarding halter in Whoa. Now, what is exactly the boarding halter's ID? Well, let's find out. Out of my old boarding halt. Okay. Oh, why is your wife of a test character a champ? Well, I don't know. Um, yeah, a lot of my test characters, I named them after a class. And notice how so this is Whitesmith Tempe. It's a champion. Sorcerer Tempe is not a sorcerer. I think that's actually a Whitesmith. Um, Mechanic Tempe is a champion also. And then I think Gunslinger Tempe is actually a, a, an actual gunslinger. Um, Rune Knight Tempe is a soul linker for whatever reason, and Obero Tempe is a sage. Kagero Tempe is a novice. Alright, see how organized I am there. Alright, so let's actually, so the boarding halter is 12622. 12622. Okay, so let's look at, see if it's in here. 162. Hold on, I already messed it up. So 12. 622. So the boarding halter cannot be used in battlegrounds. Okay, and that's to be expected. Is there a 16 here? No, it got removed somehow. Interesting. So that might be why it's usable currently in WoW. Okay, so let's go back and actually see what happened here. So hold on while I investigate. Who messed with this file? Okay, just a second while I look back into history of this file, this version control of the file. So item, no equip, dot text. All right, so if I look at the history, okay. So it looks like it actually never got added. Um, maybe. Yeah, I don't think it ever got added. So right now, so there is no restrictions on WoW. Actually, now that if you look at this, because the number 16 here are the WoW castles. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new section here. Um, let's, let's add this. And uh, let's add a separate section here. So, in WO, okay, you cannot use the Mjolnir or the Boarding Halter. There we go. Um, edit, sort lines. Oh, yeah. Let's make the Mjolnir first. Okay. All right. So now, what I've done is disabled both the Mjolnir and the boarding altar in Woe. Let's see, disabled boarding halter and Mjolnir in Woe. Okay, and uh, I can push all of these later actually. All right, that is done. Okay. All right. Another thing that we did is there were two Valkyrie fragments inside of the item database. So if I do oh, item, item, Valkyrie fragment. Hmm. Let's see, what is, what is Yuna saying? If you sit on the bench, you'll be on camera. Yep. Yeah, I know. I am watching. One of the four people watching. That's good. All right. So notice there's two Valkyrie fragments in the item database. Now, if we do item... 46501, one of these is wrong. Okay, so that's the first Valkyrie fragment. The second Valkyrie fragment is 45488. Okay, and I think I can probably tell by the description if it's right or wrong. Well, that is that, and that is that. At the event token redemption office, nope. Alright, so it looks like the first one is the bad one. So four five, so four six five zero oh, one, and I think uh, Mar Martin or Vide also removed this recently. So let me just double check with his uh, changes really quick. So according to this, he also removed four six five zero oh, one, and 
Interesting that it's also in two places there. Okay. All right. So what I got to do is I just got to follow up with what his change did um, and make sure that it's also not referenced. I think it's also might be referenced in the old red box. Okay. Let me just find out why. Okay. If I do a complete search in the find all for 46501 with a comma. Um, well, that is searching. I will see what the next thing is. Um, 46327. Okay, it is, I think this is a BG item. It's a box of cobwebs. It's giving blue gems instead. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So while that's happening, let me just do that in the game real quick. <laughs> I'm going to put the I'm going to put Giffen on this map. Wow, they named a ninja Final Strike. Hmm. Alright, so let's do item this. Whatever this thing is. Alright, cobweb box. If I open this, I should get cobwebs. Do I want to open a cobweb? Yep. Oh, I got blue gems. That's wonderful and hilarious and terrible at the same time. All right, so it looks like 46501 showed no results. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is find this item. All right, box of cobweb. It is indeed a BG item. It's interesting that it shows up twice. I wonder if that's normal. Interesting. These items are replicated. Okay. Let me just do a diff checker real quick. Because I think I might be able to just remove an entire section that is duplicated. Okay. So one. That's the first duplication. Oh. And then the second duplication might be here. Okay. Find the difference. Okay, there is no difference, so it looks like I can remove one of these things. So it looks like this. Huh, it looks like this was actually duplicated twice? Okay, so I can remove all of that, actually. And then eyes bleeding. Poor Kiwi, I think, I think she was up really late doing this. Okay, so let me see what this is. I can start actually cleaning up some of Kiwi's duplications here. Okay, let's see if we can go back and actually see if there's any difference between this code and the other code. Alright, so Kiwi's eyes was bleeding here. And Kiwi's eyes is also bleeding here. Okay, in two places Kiwi's eyes were bleeding. That's terrific. All right, the two files are identical, so I can remove the one that's duplicate. All right, so Kiwi's eyes are still bleeding right here. Okay. Let's see if I can remove this now. All right. And let's see if this it's going to be the same thing, because if it's the same thing, I can just get rid of them. All right, they're both identical. Therefore, I can remove one of them. All right. <laughs> Look at Kiwi's comment. All right, it's getting a little bit more dark. I think she's sinking more and more into despair as she's coding this, if I noticed this correctly. Yep, she copied this twice. So um, since the database doesn't need this twice, I can just remove it. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to delete it yet. I want to make sure they're completely the same before I do remove them. Aha! So the giggling boxes were changed, and I believe I'm the one that made this change. Um, let's see what's different about it. So one, two, zero, two. This is seven. This is five. What's what's exactly is different? I'm not sure here. Giggling box, giggling box, giggling box, giggling box. BG, giggling box, giggling box box, giggling box box. Okay. 18, 20, 10, 
zero F F seven. I'm not exactly sure what's different here. Um, maybe, just maybe, I think it's the extra line. Yep, they're identical after all. Okay, so knowing that, I can remove probably this guy. Okay. Um, hmm. I think Kiwi just ended up duplicating, or someone actually ended up copying this twice. I'm not sure if it was Kiwi after all. Okay, so let's go in and, okay, so this is where the Valkyrie stopped. And if we go down further, this is, let's start, let's find out where things started being uh, duplicated. So this is the Crystal Windball. So I need to find the party hat. So 5202 is probably where it began. So, hmm, pumpkin hat, that looks familiar, okay, okay, so this and this, there we go, so the pumpkin hat, okay, so, Interesting why it's repeated there as well. Hmm. I think what happened was there was a merger and things went terribly, terribly wrong here. Okay, let's go and see what's up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see what the server's using because if the server's using this, that's a big problem. I'm not even sure how it's still working right now. Okay, so let's go back into the item DB here. Hold on, I'm on another window right now checking this out. Okay. So, what exactly is going on here? So, somewhere along the way, this thing got duplicated. So, nope. so see how the Valkyrie fragments in two places here. So, I need to figure out what's going on and decouple this because this is being replicated twice here. Hmm. Nope. Let's. Let's go back here. Let's check out the history of this file and see what's going on. So Seer added elemental rings. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Vide removed Valkyrie fragments from two places. Interesting. So that's why he had to remove it from two places. Okay. He also removed it from the red box. Nice. He's thorough. Okay. And then... Find Bloody Shackle Ball. This was the extra one that we removed. Okay. So somewhere along the line. So now we're getting into Kiwi's changes. Ah, here's a merge. This might be it. Okay. Ah, oh, we got Shiba Inu. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's keep going back. Let's keep going back. Find Blaze Shackle Ball. Nope, that's everything is normal. So, oh, ha! What's going on here? Item locations. Okay. So, a lot of things got added in this patch right here. Okay. Uh oh. What's going on here? Okay. And there we go. That is fine. That is fine. That is fine. And this is fine. Okay. Let me let Kiwi know that this is the patch where things went bad. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Okay, so 
now we gotta decouple this. Hmm. That will be interesting. Because that's a lot to decouple. I might have to write a script that goes through and does that. Oh, decisions, decisions. What do I want to do? Because on one side, I can do it by hand, but that's going to take time. But I can do it by a script, and that'll take some time as well. Okay, so going into this, I found an even bigger bug. Okay, so now what I got to do is de uh, couple the duplicated item DB. Okay, that's on my list now. All right, but while we're here, let's fix cobwebs. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. So what we're gonna do is if we remove that. Okay. Cobweb. Okay. So what I can do now is I can actually go back and do a physical by hand merger of the item DB. I think that's going to be the best way to resolve this issue. <sighs> Sadly. Okay. So if I look at my essence RO database and do a git diff right now, I can see what's different. So in this one, I removed the BG stuff. All right. But what I need to actually do so before I even fix the cobweb stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert this file back to the way it was before this patch happened, before this replication happened. So what I need to do is actually I need to see if this file is where the replication even began. All right, so the alchemy ring is, if I see two alchemy rings, that's a, that's a surefire sign. Yep, so the alchemy ring, as you can see right here, is replicated. So I got to go back actually one iteration further than this one. So this iteration, if I grab this hash right here, nope, this guy, if I grab this guy right here, I can probably get, all right, so that's the, this is the place where everything got messed up. Okay, so, hey, look, she be Inu. Uh, Kiwi's commit notes are so funny. All right, so if I look at this and hit view, and click on the history. Nope, not on the history. If I look in the raw, I can grab this file in its entirety and pull it back into the database. All right, let's read through what Yoon has been talking about. So now you know I get so many Krakens because I love you. Oh, that's that's wonderful. First time he shows up, he shows up as a tentacle. Yep, that, that's usually me. Let's GM tentacle. Um, the only time he didn't show up is when he was trying the champion combo. That's correct. And I was a cha I was a Kraken leg. Yep. And I got blue gems. All right. And yes, Yuna forgot those existed. All right. And then who's using them? These section headers. Eyes bleeding. Yeah. So Kiwi, there was a point in time where Kiwi was trying to power through programming and, uh, it ended up where she uh, programmed a little bit too hard and her eyes started bleeding because uh, she she was staring at a screen for way too long. All right. Da, 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 da. Let me just do another broadcast here. Join me on Twitch. I don't want to actually look up what the link is. All right, here we go. Um, all right, so this is back when everything is okay. So I'm gonna go in and wipe all the changes. Now, luckily, there haven't been that many changes since this began, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and completely overwrite the file. It's gonna wipe out a lot of things. Hopefully I do this correctly. All right. Step one, boom, all right. The file is completely rewritten. The same lines, there was 2,396 lines. Now that's down to 1,228 lines. All right, now let's go through this one by one and reincorporate everything. All right, so let's see what every one of these changes were and re-put them back in one at a time. All right, the first thing that happened was the costume blinker. Um, 
that I think, yeah, I think uh, this was a merge for Seer, our hat GM. Bless her heart. All right, so this is four, five, five, nine, two, and nine, three. Nine, two, and nine, three are gonna be completely rewritten over here. What we're gonna do is gonna, all right, that change is incorporated. Next change, all right, I think, sure, I think this just might be the same one, so I'm just gonna put them back just in case the, in case Sierra decided to do something to change her mind. Let's remove the plus signs, because that's not actually code. All right, this is where everything got messed up, I believe. So I'm gonna leave this completely out of it. Um, although it's strange that, yeah, that's that's weird right here. I think what happened was there was a bad merge uh, in regard to maybe line endings. That is my suggestion. Maybe two different people using two different operating systems and they did not like that. Okay. Uh, why are we disabling B strafing here just real quick? Remove B strafing from PVP. All right, yeah, that makes sense. All right, the next thing. Um, enhance bloody shackle ball. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and bring it back into where it was. Okay, box of progress. Hmm, I do not want to put that there. Because then that will remove remove there we go that's the one I want so it looks like that was a bad change that was later I think removed uh, enhanced shackles okay and it looks like it was misspelled here but I'll, I'll, I'll refix that in a little bit um, and then the refined bloody shackle ball I think that's fine because it's in a different file altogether what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to revert the other file so enhanced shackles uh, got changed again. Looks like Kiwi did a lot of work on the enhanced shackles. All right, so let's go back. Boom, all right, let's put that back. All right, that change is now incorporated. So we got one, two, three, four, five changes left to go. So it looks like the Shiba Inu costume got changed. So let's go fix the Shiba Inu costume. I don't wanna actually, I'm not even sure if I can wear this right now without crashing. So I'm not even going to try to test it right now, even though I really want to see the Shiba Inu. All right, so the baby penguin costume, I think Seer showed me a picture of that the other day. It was quite adorable. It was uh, soups adorbs is what I would call it. Soups adorbs. All right. Now that that's changed, so from 8,921 back down to 1. So that's just specifying where it was, um, where you can equip it. So 1, I think, being lower. All right. So this is where vid removed the other change because it was an extra bloody shackle ball, which actually messed with the box of progress. And if we go down here, this is where the duplicate Valk frags were removed. Um, yeah, that's the duplicate Valk frag. I can remove that. And then what I will do now is add in new, series new changes, which is the slotted elemental rings. All right, so let's go in and put all of those in. Okay, so where were sh where was that change? So the last item she inserted into was the war princess. Okay, and these slotted rings go here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'll delete that, I'll save that, incorporate her changes, and then back to my changes, which is Enhanced Shackles are now called Enhanced Shackles instead of Enchanced Shackles. Not that that's, I mean, that's, it could sound like that. Nope, I think I messed something up here. There we go. So I'm just going to copy that and get the enhanced shackles right there. Okay. So now what I can do is I can say get add, get commit, remove the D coupled item DB. Aha, 1200 deletions. All right, this is gonna be a fun get push.
Alright, so if we go back here, hopefully, I can go back and actually just see what I've done here. Aha, remove the decoupled item. Alright, so if I load the diff here, I should see a lot of deletions here. Yep, there we go. All of that being completely removed there. Okay then. Alright, just to let Kiwi and Sierra and Vede know that I've decoupled it so they don't have to worry about it. Alright, now let's go back and fix these stupid cobweb boxes. Alright, so the cobweb box is... Yep. Nope, it's in this one. Alright, there we go. The cobweb box is giving an item called 717, and I assume 717 is blue gemstone? Item. Yep, it is blue. Hmm. Man. Alright. So, what is a cobweb item ID? So, item item cob web. Is it two words? No, it's one word. Cob web. So, 10025. Alright. So, if I do 10025 here, alright, you'll get 15 cobwebs. Alright. Um, let me go report this to Mr. Saito. Let's see here. I fixed um, the cobweb box for this maintenance. Yay. And then squiggly face. All right, let's see what Ricky's talking about. Who can you see the percentage of Kraken in Abra? Man, you got so many Krakens, I want to... Yep, all right, so go kill, strong. All right, let me go edit the Abra table, because I need to add Lucifer and Werewolf to it. Anyways, let me see here. Oh, uh, all the flowers died with the season. No snow, no flowers, it seems. All right, let's see what they've been talking about. Man, yeah, that's where you point too far. He's doing live tentacle session. Yep, I'm not even sure if that's fair enough. Okay, I'm so lucky I'm not a GM. Well, actually, I think being a GM is fun. Uh, except for the part where Kiwi bleeds her eyes out. Poor, poor thing. All right, um, unless you're coding, staring at attacks and figuring out where you went wrong for hours of not fun. Yep, let's see, uh, this cloak switches. Yep, it is currently winter flowers. All right, let's see what else I can fix. So, cobwebs are fixed, so I can probably check this off of my list now. Okay, um, Nephilim is considered a town for no skill. Uh, okay. Do either of you guys have a priest with Magnus Exorcism? Alright, so let's see if we can cast Magnus Exorcism in Nephilim. That's probably another thing that we need to test. Because apparently people couldn't. Can you see if you can Magnus in Nephilim? I think it's go 13. Let's see if we can follow and see if there is indeed a bug where you can't monster ignore. Okay. So it looks like on the live server you cannot Magnus Exorcism um, in Niflheim. And that's just because we disabled Magnus Exorcism in town. Niflheim is currently considered a town. Uh, I think Vide might have changed it recently uh, so that it isn't that way, um, but let me, so I'm going to about to log into the test server right now, so priest tempy. Okay, so if I can go to the, if I go to the town, 
Oh, looks like I can't even use the test server right now. Okay, well, I'll fix that later. All right, so I'm just going to assume that Vidae fixed it for now. Um, I can trust this off my list because I've decoupled the item DB. Um, Valkyrie fragments are removed thanks to Vidae. I didn't even have to do anything there. Thank you, Vidae, if you're watching. I love you. Um, what else do I need to do? So, what was I doing? Poison bottles kills guillotine cross. Some items have no prefixes. Release two cans. Chain lightning. Pouring box. Soul anchors. Um, bloody branch table. Restricted items list. Oh, that's great. Um, edit combo monk scale descriptions. Okay. That's another thing I can fix right now. So, if I go into this folder, so last last time I changed combo monks, and I made a video on how the new combo system works. So go ahead and watch that video if you're not up to date. So we have a brand new custom combo system on Eero, but I have not edited the actual skill descriptions of it. So that's something that I... I need to go back and I need to edit. Okay, so I think the one I'm trying to fix is the skill description, Lua. There we go. Tiger and Knuckle. Tiger Fist. There we go. Requires Iron Hand, Freezing Chance. Okay, immobilizes for sure. It requires a Spirit Spirit. Nope. Tiger Fist no longer requires a. Spirit Sphere. So I can now remove this as a requirement. Okay. Um, it requires triple attack. Cool. Um, a combo that can be cast after using Chain Combo. An enemy hit with this immobilized for a short time. Okay. So Chain Crush Combo. Okay. It uses two Spirit Spheres. Actually, instead of saying it, it this is um, ERO Custom. Uh, no, does not consume a spirit sphere. Actually, let's say does not consume one spirit sphere is what it already said. There we go. And then for this one, I will say it does not. So, Euro Custom does not consume uh, two spirit spheres. There we go. And I'll specify not in caps there. See, just so people know. Okay, a combo skill that can be cast after using combo finish. Um, Tiger Fist cannot be used as a skill, although it can be followed uh, with Asher Strike. Okay. Um, let's also note here that you may use uh, quadruple blow after this or. Ashura Strike. There we go. Just so people know. Okay, so Chain Combo. I think it's Triple Attack. Uh, one of these skills. Spread Attack, Soul Attack. There we go, Triple Attack. Monk, Triple Attack. Okay, so the chance is increased. That's good. Now, in the future patch, what I really want to do is I want to make triple attack uh, generate a spirit sphere. So you can keep comboing beyond just four uh, chain crush combos into an extra. But if you are paying attention to your triple attack, then you hopefully you can get some extra combos before you have to resummon call spirit spheres there. Okay, so investigate finger offensive, steel body, blade stop, explosive spheres. Extremity Fist is a sure strike. Chain combo. There we go. Um, this will consume uh, uses arrow custom requires one spirit sphere. Okay. And this can be followed up with combo finish. Okay. And then combo finish. Okay. ERO custom does not require one spirit sphere okay and something you don't know from all this is the it, it requires 
basically almost no SP to use. Okay, so I've reduced the SP cost of chain combo and combo finish down to two from twenty. Okay, all right, and I think that's all the changes I'm gonna make for tonight. Um, hopefully tomorrow I can go back and edit some more of these items. Um, hmm. There we go. So now what I gotta do is simply add this to the commit log. All right, so get CD period, CD period, get add, get commit, updated combo monk. Uh, scale descriptions. Get push. Okay, and then I think everything on this side is good except for cobweb. Get add. Get commit. Cobweb box no longer gives blue gemstones. Yay! All right. So now what we got to do is type up what I just did, all right, and post it in the patch notes. So if I go back here and go into the commits, I can see I did the last one, two, three, four commits. Okay, so let's type up what I did here. So I can get a little bit of credit. Okay. So... Two, three, four, five. Okay. So, do, 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 do. that's the wrong name. There we go. There we go. So that's in hand shackles. I changed in hand shackles. I also changed angel link card here. Okay. Okay, and what I can do here is I can do fixed, fixed a typo. There we go. I fixed those two typos, and I can say that Mjolnir and Boarding Halter are disabled in Woe. Okay. Disabled in whoa. Okay, next thing. Um, I think I did a bunch of things here, but there's nothing that you really need to know about in the patch notes itself. Um, I did fix a bug before I reached the server, though, which is the hand shackles actually didn't do anything before this point. Okay, and then the cobweb box. Uh, now correctly gives cobwebs instead of blue gemstones. Okay. And now what we can do is do a mass edit and say uh, edited uh, coded by Tempe. There we go. And we'll just go to the forums and paste it all up and call it a day. And then tomorrow, well, we'll be back to it. All right, so let's see where the bugs are. Bug fixes. And then this will be that. And then I can put all of that in there, unbold it, make that in there. Um, boarding halter is not a bug, but now it is low changes. There we go. There we go. Oh, I need to fit edit Abra. I almost forgot. Let's edit Abra. Okay. So, 
this is going to be in yellow and this will also be in yellow because right now the code is done but it's not installed into the test server yet. I don't even have access to the test server right now. Hurrah! Okay. So there we go. Alright, so that's done. Um, next thing I need to do is edit the Abra table. So this guy right here. So I made a special spreadsheet for editing the Abra table. Um, let's go, go to Google Sheets. Yeah, Google Sheets. Um, and I think I have MVP. There we go. I don't know what the bug is, Cho. Hold on. Let me show you guys what they're talking about. So Cho is asking me, can I include the BG Supply bug fix? Okay. I do not know what you mean by the BG Supply box fix. Um, I think it gives it after a combo with the ball. So you only see 50 and then plus 30 in the combo set itself. Alright. The content cannot be moved, so what's wrong with it? Cho, can you elaborate? <laughs> I hope it's all it is. I have to click it twice just to open a box. Oh, it's... Uh, not sure what I can do about that. Okay. So let's fix the Abra table. All right, so this is the thing I used to fix the Abra table. So if you see here, <coughs> um, this is the Abra table. These are the Abra um, rates. And there is something, all right, so I have to add in. So it also, so this is a spreadsheet that I built that actually generates code. So notice that it generates code to uh, build the wiki. It also generates code to build the Abra tables. And it also builds the wiki, to, or it also builds code to generate the bloody branch table. Okay. So, in this case, for some reason, Atros never got, there we go, Atros, there we go. Oop, Amon Ra. No, that's supposed to be Atros. All right. Interesting. I think there's a filter here I can remove. Can you make yellow bandana guild storageable? Well... I'm gonna be redoing a huge list of item restrictions uh, this patch, so I'll add that. Okay, make yellow bandana guild storageable. Okay, that's something I need to add to my list. Can you find me the item ID of both? There we go. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is, alright, so the edit, I'm going to edit this thing, but there's something wrong with it right now. I'm not sure what it is, and I think it has something to do with that. So there's, I'm not seeing Amon Ra um, in this list for whatever reason. I'm not sure if it got deleted or what happened to it. Um, hmm. Let's do buffed, unbuffed. Ranking. There we go. Amon Ra is actually in the rare tier. That's probably right. All right. So interesting here. So it looks like Atros Baphomet got bumped down for some reason. Okay. So everything got shifted down. It looks like. So, oof. That's not good. Okay. So what I want to do here is if I look at this code. This is Amon Ra, Amon Ra, Amon Ra. Okay, but this needs to be atrocious. So something 
really bad happened over here. So everything got shifted down one cell. Okay, so let's see if I can shift everything up one cell. Nope, it still messes it up. Okay. Uh, decisions, decisions. All right, so let's just bring this down then. All right, there we go. That fixed it. All right. Did it fix this side? So Atros, Atros, Maya, Maya, Mistress, Mistress, Moonlight Flyer, Moonlight Flyer. All right. So what we need to do is we need to add Lucifer um, to this list. Okay. So uh, the question is, is Gloom, Lady Tanny, Kyo, Talganka coming up soon? Um, so if you see in my to-do list... Yay, right? My to-do list is right there. Cthulhu and Stormy Night. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, in here, I think there's a werewolf. There should be a werewolf. There is no werewolf. That is terrific. So, what i got to do is i got to add a cell. Um, for werewolf. Okay. And then what I'll do is, what is the mob ID of werewolf? So mob info, werewolf. Okay, so 10, 0, 2, 2 is the mob ID of werewolf. Okay. Yuna, do you mind if I kill you? Okay. Monster ignore. Kill monster two. Okay. So werewolf is ten zero two two. Um, is it name? Is it just copied here? I see. Okay. So it looks like this is the actual real name table. Um, I'm actually gonna bring this completely down. So this code is gonna replicate itself all the way down. So we see that werewolf is already cloned over here. Now the thing is I need to make sure that this says buffed um, and this says spawns. And I don't need to care about that. Okay. And then it has drops. Alright. The next thing is I don't care about the level either. Alright. So werewolf, because it drops an executioner. 10, 0, 2, 2. It drops an executioner at, let's see, 10% was it? No, 12%. Okay, so let's see who, so let's do mo or item info of executioner and see how much it sells for. I suspect a lot. Who sell? 10, 0, 9, 6, 9? Yeah, so it's currently selling for 140 million. Item info, young twig will be the baseline because young twig is 10%. Who drops 018? All right, that's mistress. Who sells uh, 7018? So it looks like young twig is 85 mil. All right, so werewolf needs to be slightly more rare than mistress. So mistress right now is a tier 12, okay, the second most common tier. So 16 is the most common tier. Tier 12 is the second most uh, uh, it's rare, so the, the bigger this number, the more common it is, right? So 16 is the highest number in this sheet. Um, so 12 is the next rare, so that means werewolf should be a 10 or an 8. So notice that Turtle General RSX is a 10. It's a tier 10. So werewolf will also be a tier 10. Okay? Um, I think because RSX drops the, the combat knife and Turtle General's card is just dumb. All right. Next thing is Lucifer. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we'll add Lucifer. Uh, let me just also broadcast. All right, I'm just going to broadcast. All right, so Catolinax, let's see. Lucifer will go here. If I insert one above, I would do... Lucifer, okay, so Lucifer is also a special summon. <laughs> when I see Lucifer, I remember Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, you should. It 
It should remind you of. Thank you, random. All right. So random has asked me to remove the item restrictions of these items, and I would agree with him. Remove item restrictions here. Okay. And I'm remove. I'll put this task down there as well. Okay. All right. So let's go back to editing the Aber table. So the mob mob info of Lucifer. So mob info of Lucifer is three seven three two. Okay. All right. So Lucifer is a very interesting one um, because um, it's a special summon. Normally, right now it spawns every six hours or something, I believe. Uh, now, for now, I'll make it just as rare as maybe a Valkyrie Rangress. So Valkyrie Rangress right now is a tier 6, uh, which is actually quite rare. Now, notice that special summon monsters like Notsigur and Katolinax are actually tier 4. So whenever we make Lucifer a special summon, it will move from a tier 6 to a tier 4. But for now, because it does normally summon, I'll make it a tier 6. Okay? So... If I bring this down, it has a new percentage. All right, so how does this percentage even calculate it? There we go. So all of this should up to 100. If the math is right, yep, it adds up to 100. All right, so right now in Lucifer, you have a 1.6 chance of summoning Lucifer um, if we aber it right now. And uh, so notice that I will not add Lucifer to the Bloody Branch table. So if you are a tier um, 6, uh, or if you're if you're a tier six or higher, then you're allowed to be in the bloody branch table. If you're a tier, f if you're less than tier six, you are not allowed to be in the bloody branch table. Okay, and if you're special summon. Now I wonder why wounded Morok is in here. Wounded Morok should not be in here. It should be a tier four. All right, there we go. So wounded Morok should be a lot more rare. Yingnezim should be common. Werewolf is kind of rare, and we'll go through. Dark Lord is not even in here. Is Dark Lord even buffed? No drops. Really? Let me just see this. Mob info. So Dark Lord is 1727. It has a hundred it's mm, 18 million HP. It looks like it's buffed. Why doesn't it why isn't it in the, the Eber table? Let me ask the people. Is Dark Lord buffed and Dropping loot. Alright, it is buffed. Is it dropping loot? Huh. It should be in the Aber table then. Alright, apparently Dark Lord was not in the Aber table. That's weird. Alright. Um, Dark Lord is... Elunium. Why does it drop Elunium? That's that's dumb. All right, Mage figure, Bone Helm, Dark Lord card, Diablo's boots. Eh, let's make this guy a 16. Let's make him common. Okay. So he has drops. He does spawn. All right. Let's see what else is in here. So Not Sigur um, is a four. Okay. So it should be very very rare. Lucifer is a six. Kraken is a 12, which is Pretty common. Common is Mistress. Amon Ra is a 4. Okay. The reason Amon Ra is a 4 is because if you don't kill Amon Ra right away, he will summon mobs and will completely destroy a map. Okay, so I, I've, I've chosen to remove him from the Abra, or to Bloody Branch table to, to save that. Okay. So Lucifer should not be in the Bloody Branch table, but Werewolf should be in the Bloody Branch table. Okay. Okay, so now that I have this, I can now go ahead and copy that into the Aber table. Okay, if I remember where the Aber table even is, so let me just see if I can find it. Um, if I go into database, is it this? No, that's the actual Aber skill. Okay. 
Mob, 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 mob. There we go. Mob class change. Ah, I found it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the code that the spreadsheet has generated, which I should probably make sure is correct first. Um, so first of all, I'm going to edit this code a little bit. Instead of multiplying by every chant probability by 100, I'm going to multiply every probability by 1,000, so everything's a little bit bigger. I'm going to remove face worm, um, the face worm NPC, because it should not be spawning. Notice that golden debug is a tier one. It is the rarest mob to summon. So if you actually do get a golden thief bug in the Abra, congratulations. But go buy a lotto ticket. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. Um, the Abra table, one fell swoop, just got updated. Okay. So I go ahead and save this. I can upload this. So get add, get commit, added werewolf to abra get all right and now i can go ahead and publish these changes so with that in mind i can go ahead and publish the raw probabilities that you actually get these particular mobs okay so if i go into the heart ring patch and go into miscellaneous changes skill changes um Let's, let's let's tag this under MVP, shall we? MVP. And then I will say that this will be uh, new Abra rates, new class change rates for Abra, uh, coded by Fook here. Mm -hmm. There we have it. And I can change that. Now notice that I'm also going to copy this. So there is also a topic in here. Uh, I think under the server news, there's an everything you need to know about Abracadabra. Everything you need to know about Abracadabra. They're beautiful. And I'll publish the new Abra rates in here as well. Okay, so. If I edit this, we can say heart ring patch. There we go. And I can edit that. Beautiful. All right, so now you guys have the published aber rates for the heart ring patch. All right. Um, next thing is we need to update the bloody branch table. Um, if I go into here, there is a mom, nope, that's the monster table. I think it's the mob boss table. Ah, there it is. Um, and I can go ahead and update this as well. So inside of here, I can copy all of this over here. And this will be uh, the bloody branch table. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So um, next thing I can do is I can publish this. Okay. So I can then do a filter. And I can say blanks removed. And I can say that these are the monsters inside of the bloody branch table. Okay, under MVP, so this would be new bloody branch rates. Huh, that's not good. Nope. There we go. And oh. I wonder if I can just take this table and put it into the bullet point, which I should be able to. 
hopefully. There we go. Beautiful. And now I can remove this table completely. And then new bloody branch table. So new class change table, uh, new bloody branch table. And this is coded by Seer and Tempe. So, so Seer was the one that made the first initial ones. Um, I went ahead and changed it later. So I just added in basically the Lucifer. So I can make all of these yellow. And then, if Tempe, I can be, I can sign off as Fook here. All right, so the new bloody branch table will be as follows. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. And I can go ahead and edit. Okay. So, bam. So all of this will be yellow. It's yellow mellow. Okay, and that's that. All right, good patch everybody. Good night. And uh, I think that's enough I'm gonna do for tonight. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is say goodbye to everyone. All right, I hope that was a good session all, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day. It depends how busy work gets. Uh, see you guys later. Hopefully you guys will play more of Essence RO.